The disaster in Japan is causing major problems for automakers. Already, Toyota has stopped production until at least next week in Japan, though nearly 70% of vehicles sold in the U.S. are North American made, except the new Prius Hybrid, which is assembled in Japan, and with high gas prices in America, that could hurt sales for Toyota. Some dealers are already taking advantage of expected shortages to raise their prices. You're going to see a price spike, um, certainly on the popular models. General Motors has temporarily shut down a truck plant in Louisiana because they could not get enough Japanese-made parts. And production at Ford Motor has not been affected yet, but company executives seem to have a very close watch on the situation. Uh, we have had no production disruptions, but we're going to continue to monitor, continue to work with our suppliers, and minimize any impact on our operations. And I think the whole industry will be going through that. And this will be a situation that's going to play itself out uh, literally over the next uh, days and weeks. Shutdowns will become more common in the weeks ahead. The reason is the lack of parts from suppliers in Japan. And with rolling blackouts and destruction, it's hard to get things moving. Nearly every vehicle in the world has at least one Japan-made auto part. One example is the electronics that go into dashboard displays. Many are made in Japan. A General Motors spokesperson tells Associated Press that more shutdown announcements may come as early as Monday. You could see a terrific spike in um, unemployment in the United States because of the very large multiplier uh, we have for automotive uh, production. And news from Japan that Nissan has initiated the monitoring of vehicles made in their plants for any traces of radioactive material. Putting this all in perspective, every day about 285,000 vehicles are built worldwide. 15% of those in Japan. And the auto parts that are in demand are not exactly easy to come by. Most coming from Japan are sophisticated electronics, not lug nuts and tires that can be produced nearly anywhere. There's just no built-up reserve except for what might be on a ship on its way over, but many of these electronic components, I'm afraid, are flown here. This is a fluid situation, and the business impact will be seen in the weeks to come. Robert Ray, Associated Press, Detroit.